Today, let's learn calendar magic. It's a great skill to have and you will impress your friends for the rest of your life if you put this to use. Now, imagine your friend saying, what day is the 4th of July this year? And you say, oh, well, that's Tuesday in this year and it'll be Thursday uh, in 2024. And there's only three ways that I know of that you can do something like this. One is you're a genius who knows like Rain Man, if you saw the movie. Uh, two is you do complicated math fast in your head. Or three, you use this easy method and learn it here in five minutes and then another minute you'll see leap years and then another year you'll see how it works for any year. It's really amazing. So the trick is learning easy dates that fall on the same day of the week every year. And all you need is one a month. And we call those key dates. And if you take a look at a year, there's 365 days in a year and there's seven days in a week. You might know both of those. You might know there's 52 weeks in a year, but there's actually 52 weeks in one day. That means that the, all these dates that land on the same day every year move forward one day. So in 2021, they were on Sunday. 22, they were on Monday, and this year, 2023, they're on Tuesday. So let's look at 2023, and we're going to start with even months. So they're easy to remember. February is the second month, and what day do we remember in February? February 14th, Valentine's Day. Yeah. So, Valentine's Day. Got that. That's two. So the other even months are 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. And the dates actually are 4, 4, 6, 6, 8, 8, 10, 10, 12, 12. And they all fall on the same date, the same day of the week every year. And on this year, it's Tuesday. So let's look at those. So 4, 4 is April 4th. 6, 6 is June 6th. 8, 8 is August 8th. 10, 10 is October 10th, and 12, 12 is September 12th, December 12th. So there you go. Now, um, let's look at October again, because 10, 10 we saw is one, but actually you can also see October 31st is on a Tuesday. It's on a key date day. And it's always there, and it's what is October 31st? It's Halloween. Yeah. So that's an easy one to remember. And 1212, well, 1212, so if you want to actually, the date that you want to figure out for December a lot of times is what day is Christmas. And you know what? If you take a look, 1212, and add two weeks, 14 days to it, it's the 26th. So that's the day after Christmas. So the 25th Monday is going to be Christmas this year. It's always the day before the key date. You're halfway there. And now let's do the odd months. So actually, you know a couple of the odd months already. Because if you really think about it, February 14th, 7, 14, 21, 28. And by the way, those are the sevens times table. 7, 14, 20, 21, 28. And... Uh, the day before that is also going to be the last day of January, January 31st. And that is on a Tuesday too. So now you have a date in, in January. And the day after the last day of February is going to be March 1st. And you can see that that's March 1st. And if you look straight above it, you'll see that uh, a Wednesday is also February 1st. So if you take a look at them together, you'll see that actually um, there's our January and there's our 31st. And if you just uh, subtract sevens, you get 3, 10, 17, 24, and 31. And in January, Fe February, oh, uh, yeah. Nah. So. If you take a look at February, March, you have to see the 7, 14, 21, 28 are all there. And that's easy to do. So uh, there's 14, 14. And the other thing that to remember odd months is simply um, 
a little memory tool. Now, you've probably seen or been in or heard of a 7-Eleven store. And they have, they originally were called that because the hours were from open from 7 in the morning to 11 at night. Well, they're now open 24 hours a day. So imagine you have this crazy friend who works there from 9 to 5, just like the movie 9 to 5, working 9 to 5, uh, that Dolly Parton was in. And both those dates, 7-11 and uh, 9-5, 7-11 is July 11th. And 9-5 is September 5th, and there's that. And also notice in July, if July 11th, well, then the take away a week, and that's the 4th of July, and that date also is a key date, and always on the same date as these other dates. So really easy to do it. So the reverse of these is also true. So 7-11, is 11 7 on the right there and 9 to 5 is 5 9 that's may 9th and there it is and november 7th and there that is and notice november is a we call it the football month sometimes and those are football scores same as actually february and march uh football's uh, touchdowns are 7 14 21 28 and there's those, those four dates. And you've got all the dates. That's all you need to remember, those dates. Now, next year, 2024, is a leap year. And that's really easy to do. It just moves forward just like every other year. It moves forward one day. But then there's an extra day, February 29th, and it moves forward another day there. So it goes in 20, January, February of 2024, next year it'll all be on wednesday and then march on is all going to be on thursday the whole rest of the year is going to be on thursday and all those dates that other than valentine's day are going to all be on thursday so all you have to do then is just add sevens from the tuesdays you know and you can find all the tuesdays and then you just work your way so the t on top is a tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are plus one, two, three days, or minus one, two, three days, or Monday, Sunday, and Saturday. So you just figure out exactly what any date you you figure out real easily and quickly. So here's the years if you want to see the big picture. There's 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 2027. 20, and they're on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Are these this year and the last two years, and then 2024 is Wednesday, Thursday, and then 25, 26, 27 are the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And they all just move forward one day, and they'll all be on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So let's do some examples. So we know February 14th is on a Tuesday, so February 16th, oh yeah, that's got to be a Thursday. Yeah, and then February 26th, well, that's going to be two days in front of the 28th, so that's going to be a uh, Sunday and March 20th is that's going to be a Monday it's going to be the day before our special day so you can see how you can figure out any day that you want March 31st is three days after the 28th so that's going to be on a Friday and there it is so you can remember 30 days has September April June and November all the rest have 31 except for February it's a fun little poem to help you out and the last thing I'm going to show you is these are the magic days for 2010 to 2050. And that is, notice actually the double dates, the 2011, 2022, 2033, and 2044 are all on Monday. 2024 starts two months on Sunday and then all the rest of it is on Monday. So you know you can jump in anywhere and know exactly where they are. Enjoy! because you will amaze your friends and family with your new skills if you put this to use. Bye.